What's going on? Welcome back to another Sony to Attack Productions. Today I got Jake with us, and he has brought Green Cooler with all the new beautiful, uh, what was it? Dash packs? Yeah, Dash packs, yeah. yeah. Uh, cards, which makes the deck so much more efficient, and I think some of those cards are stupid. But hey, uh, there's buttons down below. Click them, they're there for a reason. Let's get into it. Yeah, so this is uh, Green Cooler. This is the unison based leader where you can kind of combo with unisons and then you draw when they go to the drop area. It's a standard uh, hybrid leader. And yeah. on the back side, yeah. it's pretty much got the I, I same effect, this really except this is where the this comboing with unisons turns on on the back side. Oh, uh, we can also play unisons off of our attack instead of drawing cards. So first up, we got four Frieza Galactic Dynasty, uh, just a staple for the deck, a little bit of hand pressure, 20k swing on turn two potentially, really solid card, or turn one if you go second. We play two Dore. A lot of people have been cutting this. Uh, this is the only unison that will go into your deck and get a card when it gets played. So, still decent to keep around. Um, you could probably cut this, though, if you don't play the one-drop cooler. We play four of these. This is like a pseudo-charismatic villain. Um, cost and energy, but has a very similar effect. Uh, just a really solid unison for the deck. We can combo with it, draw cards when it goes to the drop area, enable our bigger plays. Just a really solid one-drop unison. This is the new unison that just came out in the dash packs. This is Cooler Clan Commander. So, kind of a lot going on. Uh, when you play it with Empower, you get dual attack for the turn, and then you can Z-charge a card from the drop area. They're, they're telling you how to play this card with the way the skills work, because you want to empower this on top of a unison that's already in play, and then immediately go take that unison and put it in your Z energy. This deck has no good ways to charge Z energy outside of this card. And, uh, plus one, you get to burst a card, which could put more unisons in your drop area, which help our other effects, and it'll get 10k, so it's a 15k dual attacker for one energy. Not bad. Next up, we play Nyes. Uh, the counterattack effect is actually kind of sneaky. It's really unique in that it makes a card where to where it can't attack. It's a really unique wording. Uh, can sometimes come up big. Mostly, though, this is just a small unison that enables our other plays. Play four very warped copies of Frieza uh, Newfound Might. <laughs> Uh, this is just the bomb for the deck. You're going to minus four, wipe the board, triple strike, dual attack, big unison, hard to interact with. There are cards in the game that can interact with, with it, though, so it's not a guaranteed kill. Overall, really solid card. You can even play this during your opponent's turn on a counterattack for a board wipe. Really solid unison. Next, we play two of these Cooler Clan Commanders. Uh, this is just a top five searcher. You can go get it off of Dore for a free 5k combo power. Um, you can pick up extra life with it if you're getting starved out. It's not a great card, but it has a lot of small effects and interactions that keep it in the list. Uh, three Cooler Sibling Cruelties. This is just a one energy double striker. Um, has the potential to make your opponent discard a card. Not too bad. We play three Frieza Charismatic Villains. I would play four, but I couldn't find my fourth SPR. I don't know where it is. Um, Wait, are you too good to play the record ones? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not... This card has gone down in power level a ton since uh, its inception. However, it's still a free 10k battler. Uh, for nothing and the new piccolo card creates a lot of good opportunity for this card when your opponent casts it just don't do anything so he's know? referring to the new blue one yes the dual attacker for two energy just say no response and then if they play the pan you kill it with this on the pan play and if they give it barrier they don't get to draw the card from pan and they lose out on resources so just hold to this and wait for the pan play. Yeah, I was so close to doing that, and I realized it. <laughs> yeah, you, you thought, you sussed it out in our game. This is probably one of the best newer cards that's so out. Good. This is King Cold, leader of the Frieza clan. Um, it's a dual blocker, so the first time it activates blocker each turn, it's going to restand and get a free 5k combo on that block. 
Uh, it's also just a 20k barrier, which is difficult to deal with. And then on swing, you don't really get much, but at the end of the turn, it'll restand, so you'll always have this to block with. I really like to attack my opponent's battle cards with this guy, and then defend on uh, the restand with blocker. And it gets reduced cost based on unisons in your drop area. So this guy is one energy all game, and he's not unique. So you can have multiple copies of this on the board. Just a really solid battle card for this list. We play two Majin Buu um, Unadulterated Destruction. This is just a get out of jail free card if you're totally losing the game. Uh, this will get you out of a ton of effects that exist. And it's just a pretty solid floodgate because we do have a, like we saw with the Frieza earlier, we do have a couple of hand controlly elements. So it's possible that we get to our opponent to a state where they can't attack. And uh, we've got this on the board and we can just build back up. We play two copies of King Cold Hail to the King. This is just Topo. This is uh, a two energy. It's only 15k, but gets uh, energy reduction based on the number of unisons in your drop area you will fulfill that requirement in this deck and each time your opponent attacks after you uh, negate with it they have to discard a card play one copy of kaioken goku the furious this is just a good green card that should just be in every green deck at one to three copies depending uh, this deck just isn't a very heavy battle card deck, so we could really only justify running one copy. Three clones, solid green negate. Four dormant, you will have a unison in play the entire game, and smaller cost battle cards are getting a little bit more popular. You might be able to pop something with this. Just best green floodgate still, um, just because it's free. Play for our super combo. We play Paragus. This is just the best green super combo. You could play the Vegeta that makes blockers and stuff and try and defend your unison better, but just the raw draw power you get from Paragus is insane. Uh, for Overrealm, we play Mira, and then of course we're going to pair that with my signature card, uh, Hidden Kai. Um, this is just a potentially 120,000 double striker with deflect to end the game. Just insane combo. These two have been good since been good. And then Secret Rare, we play the uh, Hidden Kai Space Time Unraveler. There's a lot of uh, good leaders right now that preventing them from attacking can really help out. And it's just another board wipe in a deck full of board wipes. 40k battler for one energy in a deck with not a lot of battle cards. You could alternatively run the uh, I think it's a Majin Buu counter counter. Yeah. Just keep in mind that that you aren't able to use that on your leader swings, and in this deck, that's a good portion of the attacking you're doing is with your leader. But that's the list for the Z deck. We've only got three cards because I don't think there's anything else that's good in these colors. Vegeta probably should be in every Z deck. Jiren good for getting around the blue Majin Buu unison uh, that came up big last week if you watch the channel. And then the new Golden Frieza, uh, Return of the Destroyer, this card is nuts. So basically, uh, you're going to get a Z energy cost reduction up to two, based off of unisons in your drop area. You will fulfill that requirement. So this is a two and two. Uh, you want to play this on turn four, though, because at four energy, you can pay two and play one of your Frieza newfound mites from your hand with a marker on it. If you've already got a unison in play, it's going to empower. When that old unison goes to the drop barrier, you're going to draw a card from lead. And then his auto will trigger, which will allow you to KO one of your opponent's battle cards, uh, ignoring barrier, which is a big flaw of the big three drop unison. So this card is double strike pressure, barrier removal, efficiently costed, plays other cards in your deck, and you always have access to it because it's in the Z. This is my favorite new card and it's probably worth like the 12 or so dollars it's going for on TCG right now. Yeah, all, all the unisons from the dash are going up there. Oh, yeah. Well, that means I think you, Jake. Thank you all for tuning in. Keep in mind, there's buttons and stuff in the description. Check them out. Thank you. Bye.